rescued some, uh, well, some dogs. They're great dogs, but they have issues. Right. First. Minus, minus Lulu. Lulu, come here, sweetie pie. Watch this. She loves a rocket, a rocket. Come on, <laughs> A rocket, a rocket. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. So my Lulu is perfect. Okay. Wait, oh, but this is not always. This is your classic go lucky, you know? But Obviously, Lulu, she's familiar what, with what her. What Lulu does is this. Yeah. You talked about when the, the door knock. Yeah. She barks a little bit. Yeah. But also, when the people come inside, she jumps on right. them. Right. Come here, Lulu. And that's because the owners of, of Lulu, here, Lulu allowed this behavior. I don't because allow this allow behavior. The, yeah, right now you're creating it. Right. Why? What, what should I do? Well, just, you can ask a dog. You know, to come in and then create calmness, but you go, hi, Lulu, who is it? You, you miss me, maybe? Who is, oh, when people knock on the door, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Thank you. <laughs> so, Rosanna, what Cesar is saying is you excite the dog. Right. So, what do I need to do? Just chill out. Just chill out. <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible. I had a feeling you were the problem. <laughs> See, but this here. excited Lulu. mind, calm mind. Come here. Sit excited down. mind, Sit calm down. mind. You're such a good girl. Even like talking to it like that is just. Well, that's more for the human. It's my, you know, some humans are mute, they can't girl. talk, but they can still express emotion. All right. Now, Caesar, with the next dog, yeah. I think you've got okay. your work cut out for okay. you. Okay. Why? Let's meet Kimberly okay. and Spike. Uh, here we have a uh, little Pomeranian. Yeah, Pomeranian Chihuahua mix. Now, so are they a the ferocious breed? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not the breed, it's the human behind the dog that makes the dog that way. So Caesar, this dog, uh, hi yeah. Kimberly, hi. Hi. So uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Spike, please. Spike is a seven-year-old Pomeranian Chihuahua mix who can sometimes be a little bit... Nope. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, he, this is very predictable. No. You can see, you can no see if you can read a dog, you, you're seeing this behavior. Now. Right. But so, most people see the fur, the color, and they want to ask the name and the age. But what I'm looking at is how the dog feels coming close to us. Huh. The dog right. nips and bites people and barks all the time, right? Yes. But that's because the human moves, you know, uh, when he is not ready to be touched or, or be near someone. So right now, if he was, you know, classic aggressive dog, the, the one that moved forward, he would be experiencing, he would be projecting that. But right now he's doing this, look. So he wants to stay away from. So that he's already saying, I don't want to get near anybody yet. Huh. Uh, and the, in the green room, he took his time and then he moved forward. So you learn what's the length of time for him to become comfortable and relaxed. Then he makes the move. This is a nervous dog. If you give him some time, he relaxes. So let me ask you, do we reward with treats or that's like a... You are a treat. What about if you don't have any treat? You have your affection, you have your touch, you have your kisses. You are a treat. I think people overuse treats. Interesting. Okay. Overuse treats. But with this dog, what you're telling us is it's really more the dog than the people around the dog. The dog's no. on its own program here. No, the dog has it. You know, the dog is dealing with life the way he wants to deal with life or, or the way he has learned to deal with life. But here you have to wait. If you wait, you give him a treat. Because insecure people, if you if you wait, then they come out. Insecure dogs, if you wait, then they come out. So we've been here for about, I would say, 90 seconds with the dog. I'm going to go in and pet the dog, okay? See what happens? Do you recommend that? Well, he's already saying, you know, I'm, I'm sure about it, but go ahead. But, so people can see I what wanna not to do. I want to see you get bit. <laughs> so people can see what Hi. not to do. Hi! There you go. Oh. Oh, exactly. He's tense, you see it? He's all shaky yeah. and stuff. And, and then At the, least he the, didn't the, bite, though. I, I know, but the way you move is like... You go, yeah, you gave it a fist! <laughs> you know, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like Muhammad Ali it's, type of move. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I love dogs, but... Uh, yeah, but knowledge and love is two different things. You have to be a knowledgeable dog lover, not just a dog lover. Dog lover gets beat a lot. Okay, just, number one tip of the day. Uh, don't forget to practice calmness with a dog. Okay. Calmness. Very important. Calm dog, excited dog, then calm. Wait. Wait. Boy. Boy. He, he me, brings the attention. Let to me it. try. Lulu. Come here, sweetie pie. Come here, mommy. Okay. That's good. Am I calm enough? You know what? No. You're, no, she's still. You're at a lower level of excitement. Lower level of excitement. Yeah, I don't think I could get any calmer than that. Well, just you just so don't you know. use sound. Oh, I don't use sound. You know, like you pray? Yeah. Yeah, just you pray, you become calm. You meditate? It's just no sound involved. Interesting. All right, and for uh, uh, Kimberly and Spike here? What's... For him, it's just for people to do the no touch, no talk, no eye contact, let the dog come to you. This will help him a lot. Because remember, he has also his own little pain that he's dealing physically with his leg. So those dogs get, you know, they're in pain. And so if you approach them, they're going to feel more uncomfortable. But if you let, just let an approach, they're going to feel they're more, people are friendly. Any other issues you'd like to run by, Caesar? Um, he is a little yappy sometimes. Yappy? Well, um, how do you address that situation when he's barking? I ask him to stop. Like how? 
Stop it! Yeah. <laughs> Did you yell? Sometimes. They use the name. What's his name? Spike. Spike, stop it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when a dog is barking, obviously it's alerting, right? That's his way of communicating. Somebody's here or somebody's passing by. But when a human goes, Spike, Spike, stop, Spike, stop. So he's hearing barking and his name. Mm. They don't rationalize, so you're actually using the wrong thing at the so wrong time. So what do time. we do to get them to stop? Well, you have to understand that he's in an alert state again. Put him in the closet. <laughs> well, that's what most people do. But when I address a situation, that's when you see me doing Oh. Right, and then I, I project calm, assertive energy. Most people go, hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Wrong. Spike, spike. You embarrassing me. My neighbors are gonna call me. They're gonna, they're gonna send you to Caesar. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so they're tired, talking to the dog like the dog understands. The dog keeps barking. All right, Caesar. When you say it, it makes perfect sense. It does make perfect <laughs> sense. I, I don't know if uh, the world's gonna right. stop yelling at their dogs. I'm when gonna they bark. try this though. By the way, like. You know what? Kind of like. Oh, Not I'm this. Still... Like. Oh. Yeah. More calm, confident. Calm, calm. I think James, Dirty Harry. James Bond. Okay. Dirty Harry or James Bond. Okay. Those guys James never yell. Like. Okay. Right. Got it. Yeah. Well, Not what's... Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar Milan, Caesar 911, season two starts Friday on Nat Geo at nine o'clock. Keep it up. Thank you, guys. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. Thank you, man. Spike, so nice to have you. you here. Spike. Bye. Bye. Kimberly. Bye. Kimberly. <laughs> Lulu, Benson. Lulu, thank you. I don't know. She was very shy.